that we are meeting and commemorating t today on the land of the traditional owners um, of the Kulin Nation, and I would all and pay my respects to elders past and present. I'd also like to acknowledge the previous speakers, um, um, Robbie Thorpe, and obviously J uh, Joe Toscano as well, and, and the speakers to come. It is. I have been coming. This is my fourth year, and. Um, so I'm conscious that you can't hear me. I'll stop moving. Um, it is my fourth year of coming, and it is. I look. It's marked in my calendar as the first major speech I see. It is the first major event that I attend at the start of every year, and it's an incredibly important event to attend. And I'm very passionate about it. Not. I, I believe in the cause, and I have been advocating for it for the last four years to have a commemoration on this site. It's, a, it's an important story of the struggles against colonial Victoria and it's important that we acknowledge the story and, and that is why I do come and I do pay my, my respects and congratulations to the Commemoration Committee for all of what they have done um, leading up to today. But I'd also like to acknowledge all of you for coming. I know a lot of you have been here for the four years that I've been here as well, but there are a lot of new faces and, and Joseph... Um, Joe acknowledged the young people that are here that have been especially invited to today's event and, and I'd like to acknowledge all the young people as well who are skipping around the place somewhere um, for their attendance and um, on the beautiful space that, uh, that Joe has described that, uh, that we might have to commemorate um, Malvohina and, and, and Tana Minoway. Um, as Joseph said that Joe said that the last three speeches I've given have been about the process that we're going on to acknowledge quite rightly and to commemorate um, what happened here. And I do have a more of an update um, and, and I'd like to acknowledge our councillor Canis and she's going to speak um, after me, I believe, about um, her role on council. Um, in this process, but Council Canis has been working um, with our in, um, council officers as well as um, Joe um, towards the commemoration. And in May, the Indigenous Heritage Action Plan will be presented for consideration at the May, a May meeting at Council, and part of that will be consideration of this commemoration. And so, look forward to um, hopefully in a year's time we'll, we will have um, we will have acted on that recommendation. Of course, I'll be advocating for it as I've said, but I'd like to acknowledge that you know within the process of commemoration we need to seek approval um, from the descendants of the men as well as working with the so has already started and and is important that that is taken that takes place as well and and so that may you know take time as well but I um, you know the update is that we will be seeing a document at the May uh, council meeting um, recommending a, the commemoration of these um, two freedom fighters at this location and um, and I of course as I've said already I will be advocating for that to to proceed so I mean that's all I would like to say I would like to again you know thank the organisers for having this as my most important 